it's time to get to work. After a gruelling campaign, there's no rest for MPs, especially if it's the first time they've been elected. Thanks so much for everyone electing me to be their new MP. I'm now officially going to Parliament. This is my first official day. Today is about training and exploring those corridors of power. I spoke to one MP who remembers her first day two years ago. Half disbelief because you've been working to get there for such a long time and then finally you are in this place and that has obviously a lot of history. You feel a certain um, kinship with, with, with the intake um, of your year, a bit like the school intake um, from whatever political party that is. Um, so there's a, a decent amount of camaraderie at first, um, but then very quickly it gets down to business. For some, this place is already quite familiar. Perhaps they've been working as a speechwriter or a special advisor to a politician. For others, it's going to be a much bigger departure from the day job. Among the new intake are people who've been working as doctors, teachers, a vet and a mortgage advisor. They'll all be assigned a buddy from the parliamentary staff to introduce them to places like the library, to help set up their offices and navigate the business of lawmaking, the parliamentary procedure, courtesies and conventions. Staff have been working on a brand new training session. They're going to role play some of the key activities that members will be performing in the chamber. So um, how to behave in a debate, how to ask a question, um, what, to, what to do when there's a division, those sorts of things. There is a lot to learn and with the first vote planned for Friday, the 140 new MPs need to hit the ground running. Tessa Chapman, Five News.